So I'm James O'Brien, I'm farming here in Viper Kells, County Kilkenny. I suppose the, the, the thing about producing milk is that uh, we're, we're also producing something that we're consumers of ourselves. We have an automatic uh, washer on the, on the milking machine, so that kind of looks after the dose and the, the correct rate of detergent. So that kind of takes the human element out of it there when everything is, uh, is going right on it, you know. When, when everything is going well, there's no problem. We did have an issue there uh, with uh, TBC and, and, and Thermajuric, and we hadn't changed anything in, in the routine that we were doing. Uh, so we were kind of baffled as to what uh, was the cause of it. William O'Toole is my uh, milk advisor and I contacted William there and uh, uh, William advised me on, on some of the things to look out for and uh, so then we, we eliminated kind of any of the, the usual uh, suspects for, for when there's issues. Uh, so we, we checked the bull tank and, and that does, the detergent was, uh, was, was going into the machine properly and everything and the right dose rates, we checked those. Um, and the water temperature uh, and then when we figured out we thought everything else was was right there the only thing it could have been is the the plate cooler so uh when we when we tackled the plate cooler then we realized that, that it wasn't um it wasn't washing properly uh, and when we rectified that then uh, uh straight away the, the results uh, came into line so as, as we head into the autumn we'll be we'll be more conscious of um uh, keeping keeping a close eye there for uh, any mastitis, especially as, as the, after the dry spell, there'll be a lot of maybe some showery weather there, and the fly population will be will be increasing. And uh, we'll be checking the uh, filter sock uh, after milking just to, to make sure it's, it's clean. If there was anything anything astray there, we'd be uh, we'd be investigating straight away.